Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as I told in my first video that this video will be all about project management tool Jira. I'm going to give you the overview of Jira, how the project management tool looks like, what all features it has, what it is capable of doing it. I'm going to show you step by step what it is capable of. I'm not going detail about what exactly it can do, but I'm going to just show you that what are the features are actually available in the Jira project management tool. But regarding each feature that it has, I'm going to upload a separate, separate video in future. So you guys don't have to worry about anything. So let us start the video with Jira as a project management tool. So this is how your Jira project management tool looks like guys in any company, whichever company you join anywhere in this world, if you join, if your company is following agile model or scrum methodology, they will follow Jira as a project management tool and it will look exactly like this. Now, if you see here, now they're just asking me, welcome to Jira and then uh, projects are MKT assigned to me list of tasks that is zero here and your company Jira. I mean, you will not go detail about it. What is you can see on the screen right now, but I'm going to talk about each one of them in detail in the upcoming sessions. So you don't have to worry. So this is a Jira or this is a default dashboard of any organization if they're using project management tool Jira. So if you can see here, this is the company name, which is MKT. And uh, in this particular Jira application, there is one only one employee and that name of the employee is called as team software testing for MKT. Let's assume like that. So this is what I have created in my local system. Now let's say there are a lot of things. If you see here, I can go inside my project. If, if I go inside my project, then I have a lot of things. If you can see guys before landing on this particular video, I'm sure that you guys have seen my agile and scrum model video because without watching that you guys will not understand anything. So I'm hoping you have a full knowledge about agile and scrum. And also you have seen my first video, which was mastering your agile with MKT. So if you can see here now in my MKT company, now this is my, this is the project that I have, which is nothing but MKT project. And in that, uh, this is my sprint. Now you guys know what is sprint. I'm not going to explain in detail. So they're asking is start your sprints in the backlog. So you guys know what is backlog now. Now backlog is nothing, but you can create multiple tasks here or multiple epics here or multiple stories here. Those tasks only will form as this backlog, right? Your backlog is nothing but your requirement that you have converted into your backlog in some form, right? And then from whatever the tasks that you want to keep from your backlog to your particular sprint, you just need to drag them and keep it in the current sprint. You can also start your sprint by clicking on this. So what all uh, tasks are there in this particular sprint will come to your current sprint. Now there is also a way by which if you start the sprint, they will ask you to enter your sprint name and what is the duration of your sprint and uh, what is the start date and end date of your sprint. There is also a way that uh, you can make your uh, sprint releases in the form of custom. Like there is no fixed date for your particular sprint. You want to make it like, like in the form of custom, like first release is happening in seven days and next release is happening in 11 days. Usually it does not happen, but you have a feature that you can do in your particular sprint uh, that you can do in this Jira for your sprint. Now there is also an option of completing your sprint like this. There is option of moving your task, whatever is there, what my developer is working on, he can move it to dev complete. Then if the tester is picking it, he can move it to QA complete and then it can be moved to from QA complete to done or released into the production. And then you can also complete your sprint. Now, if you see here, it also has the option of create. Now, if you see under my MKT project, I have the option of creating an epic task story or bug. What is epic? I have tried my best to explain in my, my multiple videos. So I'm not going deeper into that. And then you have a task story and bug. And then you have an epic name. You have a summary like that. You can create uh, like a lot of things um, in your uh, particular project. Now, if you can see it has lot of things here. I'm just give, trying to give an overview here. I'm not going into detail in this particular video about each thing that I'm talking in this particular video. I'm going to make a separate video for each topic that I'm talking now. 
separate, separate videos, like how to create task, how to create bug, how to create epic, how to create stories, how to create your sprints, how to create your backlog. This video is just about the overview of your Jira project management tool. So this is how you create your bug, task, epic. When you complete your sprint, uh, you also have the option of, now let's see uh, if you do this, it also gives you some result, like which all task is completed and which all tasks are not completed, which is not using your status report, it will give you. So now let's say that if you are leading some organization, you can also send this status report to your organization people or within your team that what all tasks we have achieved in a particular sprint. It also has a feature of called as Confluence. Now Confluence is nothing but you can store all the data or all the files that you want to store or all the documentation kind of thing, you can store it here. All documentation, you can store it here. Now, if you see here, there is option of creating it. And the moment you create it, you have a lot of option to create it now. Now, if you see here, it is only telling you like, what template you want to create now? Do you want to create retro retrospective? Now you guys know what is retrospective, right? Retrospective is nothing but retrospective meeting. So we can plan that one in our confluence in the jira itself sprint retrospective meeting remember that it's a meeting that happened at the la last of the sprint just to find out that what went well what didn't go well what are the or what we should learn from this particular sprint remember so with that we can do in the retrospective meeting we can also if we have any kind of documentation right any kind of documentation we can just give the title and start writing from here you can in the confluence you can also write any kind of test plan or any kind of documentation that you think that is required. Maybe your high level design, maybe your low level design. Definitely you can write it here and you can publish it within your own organization. The moment you will publish this documentation, it will be published to the to your team, whoever has this particular URL. I'm just giving an example that how you can write it. Steps to deploy, build in, production let's say that is my heading now i have i can write this like so i'm sure that uh, you guys will be doing this in your google sheet right so that's the reason we have jira today in the market so in jira uh, there is one product in jira which is called as confluence in which you can write any kind of documentation that you want now if you can see it it has the same kind of capability that you you have in your google doc right so you can add images you can type all the steps to deploy build into the production and after writing something, now I'm not writing what is the steps to reproduce. Uh, after writing something, I can publish this document. So I can publish this document to my team. So the moment I click on share, I just need to write the people name and I can just click on the send button. It will be sent to them. So this is how your confluence plays an important role in your Jira. So it has a lot of things. If you see, it has variety of templates in your uh, confluence documentation, as I said, you you can plan something in your organization that you need to do in your 60 day plan or 90 day plan. There is a, uh, it is usually, as it shows that it is usually used by human resource. But if you open that, right, it will give you an idea that how there is already a template which is there. You can use it for your own reference to document any kind of thing. So it will give you a lot of, lot of idea that you have in the confluence. It has a lot of option. Not only that, don't believe that this Jira is only used by tech team. It can be used by anyone in the organization as I have already spoke in my first video. So you can also in, let's say you have a project MKT. So you can also create spaces. Sp creating a space is nothing but in this confluence, nothing but creating a type of a document. Now, same, same thing came. Now I need to select what kind of uh, document it may be. Maybe it will be a retrospective meeting or it will be just like a blog post. Blog, you guys know what it is, right? Blog is nothing but any kind of documentation that you want your team to see so that you can plan it. You can do your brainstorming meeting here if you want to do it. You can do that. And uh, it has a lot of things that you, anything that you can expect your, if you're expecting anything from your project manager tool, it has the capacity to do each and everything. So, this is, this is about Confluence, which is used to store your all data or all your uh, documentation kind of thing, your high level design, your low level design, maybe your requirement also, you can store it here. 
you can store it here you can do your retrospective meeting you can write down procedure to deploy builds or anything that you feels that tomorrow you may uh, forget it or maybe some documentation let's say you are leaving the organization and you want a newcomer to know before joining the organization or before uh, joining or before starting the work that he has to do in the organization you want him to know certain things so that documentation you can make it in the form of confluence so this is the overview of your jira as a project management tool so i have tried my to i have tried my best to explain to you what jira project management tool is capable of in my future videos i'm going to talk about how to create sprints how to create product backlog how to raise a bug lot more how to create your sprint retrospective meeting how to work on the confluence each and everything i will be talking in my future videos so you don't have to worry about anything that's all from this video guys see you in the next video thank you so much